Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, today I've got a video for you on a wallet, as you can see. Now I'm a, a bit of a wallet collector, but not in a mad way, like I'm a mad pen collector, like I buy pens quite often. Um, but these are the wallets I've used uh, over the years and going back like at least 10 years uh, to, to this one. Um, and then chronologically ending up with this one, which I actually got yesterday. And I'm currently using this one. So, if you're into wallets, then this video should be quite enjoyable for you. Um, just me going through each one, telling you what it is. So you might be able to go and find it online. Um, most of these should still be available to buy. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. Um, starting out with uh, one of the most popular brands for wallets these days, Bellroy. Um, this is the card sleeve, I believe, and it is basically a credit card sized wallet um quite a few of these are really made for credit cards um and they have that that size and factor in mind quick access slot there same on the back and then this tab in the uh this slot in the middle rather where you can access your cards so by pulling on that and then there you go um, this is where I used to store cash as well. I'd have to fold it into thirds and put it in like that, which was fine. Back in the day when I was using this, we didn't have these new polymer notes. It was the, the paper ones, which were easier to fold and get a nice crease. So they were just naturally flatter. So you could fold like a good number of notes and it would be quite slim. But um, if you're folding like <laughs> six banknotes, into thirds you're going to be there for a while getting them really flat so for wallets like these uh, you know you're going to end up looking like that um, at least because you're going to need to, you're probably going to have some cards in there too um, but obviously when you got it in your pocket that is going to flatten like that so not the biggest issue in the world um, there we go. Next in the chronology was this one, which is a classic style wallet from Bellroy, a bifold. I think it's called the note sleeve. Uh, I'm not 100% certain, um, but again, you have this tab here so you can get a card in there and then easily access that. You've got some slots here, here and here. And what is also um, quite cool is you have two more discrete slots one here which does fit the card card goes in and one behind this flap here so um, you can hide uh, some cards or whatever you want you can put a good few cards in that one um, you can hide cards receipts things like that and then of course you've got your space for your bills um, which you don't have to fold they just go in as normal. It's a nice um, slim wallet but I must say without anything in it it is slim. As soon as you start to put cards in you've got the leather in between them that is gonna get a bit thicker and um, which is what I wanted to move away from with buying these type of wallets. So um, yeah that was actually a gift so uh, I did use it a bit but I, I just ended up favouring these types of wallets, the slimmer ones. Um, this is again another uh, very similar to this in, in the fact that you've got a couple of quick draw slots at the front, one there and then one at the front, very front there. This is a slightly slimmer card so it's a bit flimsier. Just use a different one. And then you can push that up with the slot there, that's quite handy. You've got then one on the back that goes horizontally or it goes in like that <laughs> um, and then the slot in the middle with the pull tab which is elasticated so um, that's quite nice this one is from uh, a brand called Verso I can't remember exactly where I got this it may have been Amazon um, I tried finding it the other day I couldn't find this wallet again, um, but um, it's a nice 
it is a nice option if you can find it it's worth uh it's definitely worth it the quality is good um very similar to Bellroy. it's really just slight uh, design differences um and then you've got that elasticated tab. I don't know if the new card sleeves in Belroy have the elasticated tab or not. Um, not a big deal for me. Um, I like both. Next up, uh, yet another Belroy. Um, this is quite cool. I used this for uh, quite a while um, because I just loved the, it was just so cool. You put a card in there. You've then got the other side card in there. So you've got your easy access to two cards and then you have the middle pocket. You just press like that and then you've got space for more cards and receipts and things. And the cool thing about this is if you've got, it works um, with 10 pound notes, so you just fold them in half and then put them in like that. And as you can see, that will stay in without sticking out. There you go. The note is nice and secure in there. Um, a 20 pound note will stick out. Um, so just be aware of that. I believe Bill Roy do still make this style wallet. Um, I think that is, I mean, it's it sticks out ever so slightly, which is kind of annoying, but you can you can actually get it to a reasonable, uh, to be in there reasonable. Right? If that annoys you, then maybe this isn't the wallet for you. Um, or just don't carry 20s. I prefer to just carry 10s. They're um, just easier to manage with the wallets that I use. Um, so another really nice option from Bellroy, um, which is for good reason, one of the most popular EDC uh, style brands, one of the most popular wallet brands out there today. Uh, and the final Bellroy wallet, um, I do have some other wallets, um, promise. The final Bellroy, I don't know what this is called, but you should be able to find it quite easily on their website. It's um, quite nice, it has this secure zip, which is quite nice, high quality, and it means you can just stuff this full of cards, and I actually have some coins in this pouch here, and they just come out really easily like that. Um, and then put them in back in, requires a slight bit of patience, but that's fine. Um, this is great for traveling. If you've got foreign currency and you're gonna be using, um, you're gonna be getting coins in foreign currency, it's great just to bung everything in and you'll be able to get your cards in there just like that. Uh, and there's also another um, sort of divider slot here, just the, soft bit of material there where you can keep some cards separate from the rest. Um, I, I use this uh, for just keeping my less used cards together in one spot. Uh, so this lives in the drawer. Um, I did use it before for traveling but um, not so much nowadays. Now these ones at the top I've had for years, like I bought years and years ago. The ones in the bottom um, are newer, uh, like this one started, I, I got that a couple of years ago, and then these three a bit more recently. Um, so this is the Wingback. Um, I'm not sure if it's the Winston. Um, they definitely still sell these. Um, and you can see it's much smaller than the, the Bellroy card sleeve. Um, and it really is just to, to carry cards. Um, it does it perfectly. If you're only gonna carry cards and you're not gonna carry cash or like maybe like one or two notes, this is like a smashing little wallet. You do not notice it's in your pocket, which may be uh, a plus or minus depending on um, <laughs> on your views. But um, if we get a card in here, you can put that one in the front and then you do have to fold your notes into thirds and the way I carried this was like that with the notes in the front so a little bit unneat uh, when you get to that stage but it, it it's still a really nice slim option and a beautiful construction um, it's all one piece of leather stitched up the side here 
and it's finished really, really well. So if you're looking for the most minimal wallet solution, this kind of thing is, is the one you want to go for, the wing back. Um, I think it's a card sleeve, card holder. Um, but yeah, that's what it, what it looks like. Um, a note on, on this bit, I, uh, I recommend if you're going to get this, figure out exactly how many cards you're going to put in this slot, because if you put in like six cards and it, it will be really, really tight over time that will loosen up. Um, so then you'll be able to get your cards in and out quite easily. But then if you decide, oh, I'm going to only carry four cards or five cards, that is going to be really loose and there's no way to get it back to being uh, tight. So um, your cards are just going to fall out. Um, so it's currently set up to take four cards because that's, I would have one card in the, fr in the front and then four in here. So basically I've managed to only, you know, I only still carry five cards in total. So that's uh, five cards, doesn't come out. But if I take one card out, then that is, things are going to start to fall out. So just bear that in mind. Um, next up is quite a cool option. Um, and we now go away from the realm of folding your cash into thirds or quarters or whatever. Uh, this is from a guy or a company called JJ Leathersmith. And um, it's a pretty nifty uh, uh, design. Um, it opens out like this. <laughs> so the idea is you stick your cash in there, right? And then I'll just close this to show you how it holds the cash. Now that's taking out as a 20. I will come to that in just a second. Um, you've got a big pouch here for loads of cards. So let's just put three in now for argument's sake. That's nice and secure. And then you've got this slot here for another card. And then it holds it all together in a really nice little package. Um, you do get some thickness there. Um, yeah. That's why I went away from this is because I was finding it was just that little bit thick in the pocket. And also I was just so drawn to open sea, um, which I will get to. Um, but this leather is just gorgeous. Um, a nice thick uh, cut of leather. And I'll mention now with the 20s, um, the 20s are a little bit high. Um, so they stick out of the side, whereas the 10s, well, the 10s do stick out just a tad. It looks bad on camera because you've got that contrast, but really in practice, that is, is not bad. Five pound notes do not stick out at all. Um, but the main thing to note is he does make uh, an international version of this wallet. This is actually the US dollar version of the wallet. So it's made to take US dollars without them sticking out. Um, I decided to get this one because I didn't want that extra, whatever it was, centimeter um, at the time. So um, yeah, that's just something to bear in mind if you're gonna go with uh, a wallet like this. But uh, you know, I really did enjoy using this wallet, a really nice, thoughtful construction. And um, I've just found, you know, a wallet that I, wallets that I prefer using now. So definitely one of my favorite wallets because it's such a simple, well-executed design. Um, and it's just super well made. Like that, li this is gonna last a lifetime. I mean, all these wallets should last a lifetime, but this is just a real rugged, rugged wallet. Anyway, enough about that. The final two, they're from OpenSea Leather. And uh, you probably recognize them if you're into wallets and EDC stuff. Uh, we've got the Top Cider and the Hubei 2.0. The top cider is a couple of months old and I've had it in my pocket literally like every day. So it's seen use, um, it's seen some sun over summer and it started out that color. Um, it's the natural uh, color of leather. So when you, when you buy a wallet from OpenSea, you can choose what color of leather and what color of thread. So on this one, I went for the natural color and just with 
the uh, you know exposure to your skin and all uh, light and everything it darkens it patterns and it um, conforms to your lifestyle um, it ages with you which is something I really really liked um, similar construction here on, on the Hubei. This is the Hubei is basically the top sider with an extra layer of leather. Um, I do have my cards in here at the moment, um, so I'll just take these out for now. Um, so the Hubei is very similar, but this is made of two pieces of leather, and um, so you can choose different colors. So I went with the olive green and the uh, Bordeaux and oh, this I got this yesterday and oh, I just absolutely love it um, comparing the inside um, you can see where that extra layer of leather is adding another slot and also it adds that um, slot on the back so you can put some cards in the back as well um, I was really happy, I am really happy with the top cider. I was finding that with um, my five cards in here, um, I, I noticed that I, I do use multiple cards quite often, so I was often fiddling around in the back to try and get cards out and it was all moving around and stuff. And um, like it's, it's not a major issue, but I just thought, well, the Hubei solves that. And the reason I got one of the reasons I got the top cider in the first place over the Hubei is I, I wasn't sure if the the leather was going to be thick like on this, um, but as you can see the the leather here on the JJ. If I just try and get that in focus, the leather on the JJ is a good bit thicker, so um, yeah. Um, the numbers of like the layers of leather here um, and the thinness of the leather means that it's going to be a slimmer profile um, and your cash just goes in this back slot here so the 20 is just about fit as you can see I'm having a little bit of trouble you do have to line them up nicely but they, they will go um, and then you've got that space for your cards. And that's a really nice slim carry option for a wallet. Um, the Hubei 2.0. Um, you can do pretty much the same if you wanted, but the reason I got the Hubei is because Right, I carry five cards, so I put two in the back, um, the middle slot rather, two in the in the front. Um, let me see, one one card in that quick draw slot, the quick access slot, and then the cash goes right in the back. Um, I think because this is a brand new wallet, the leather and the fact that there's another layer of leather. It's a bit tight, so getting the cash in is um, it's slightly prob problematic. But um, I mainly have I mainly access cards. Um, I do use cash more often now, um, but so that's why I like having like easy access to cash as opposed to having to fold it into thirds. Um, but over time, I'm uh, eager to see whether this leather will loosen up and. Um, the cash will be easier to get in here, but um, that profile, um, I've not done it very well, right? The cash is still sticking out, but it, it does stay within uh, the wallet when you do it properly. Um, the profile is very similar to the who be, um, the top cider. Um, this is going to be thinner and in the pocket just over the past day, um, I have noticed that that is the thicker wallet and just by like well, not actually one layer, it's, it's a couple of layers thicker. So if you count the layers here, you have one, two, three on the um, on the top cider. On the Hubei, you've got one, two, three, four, five layers at the thickest point. 
and I have been feeling that. Um, it's not a deal breaker, but I just think um, it may involve me going back to the top cider, especially for summer when I do want to lighten up my carry. We're going into autumn and winter now, so something like this, um, I'd, I'm happy to carry. Also, the colors on this are definitely like autumn winter style, so yeah. Um, oh, by the way, the colors on this, um, this is olive green, that is Bordeaux, um, and then I've got the blue thread, um, and this is the natural uh, leather color, so it's not dyed, this leather is dyed, colored, uh, and then the cream, I believe it's cream uh, thread, and yeah, um, I've gone on long enough now, I'm seeing it's 20 minutes this video, so um, I'm going to wrap it up here, um, I hope you have enjoyed this video, and uh, if you're looking for a new wallet, hopefully I've given you some inspiration and been able to give you a good overview, a uh, comparison of these different options. Um, and so I wish you luck in choosing your next wallet. Um, or if you're not going to buy a wallet, thanks uh, so much for watching anyway. Um, and hope to see you in the next video.